Today we're going to learn how to do a backside axle stall, also known as a backside 50-50 stall. This is a trick that can be done many different ways, and I'm going to show you four different ways to do it. The first method of doing this trick is what I consider the easiest way to do it, and that's to ride up to the ramp, turn backside into your stall while keeping all of your weight in the ramp. By keeping your weight in the ramp, you're going to have an easier time riding away. You're already leaning in the direction you want to be leaning in to ride away safely. And there's less of a chance of your wheels getting caught on the coping on your way back into the ramp. The second approach to an axle stall is going to be riding up to the ramp and locking in with your heel side of the board. By locking in with the heel side of your board, the toe side of your board is going to kind of be floating in midair. So your two wheels that are on your toe side will just kind of be hovering. And when you're ready to drop back in, you're going to lean forward and roll away. The third method of an axle stall is going to be riding up and locking in on your toe side, which a lot of people just call this a stand-up stall, or if you were grinding, a stand-up grind. So you're going to ride up to the ramp, you're going to lock in on the toe side of your board, and then you're going to lean forward and you're going to ride away. And the fourth technique to an axle stall is cross-locking your trucks on the coping. So you'll ride up backside, you'll lock in with your trucks crossed, and then when you feel comfortable, you'll lean forward and drop back in. The reason why I wanted to demonstrate different ways to do this trick is because you might try it one way and it could be difficult, but if you try it another way, it could be easier. So it's good to experiment and try all these different variations and see what works for you. Thanks for watching.